Um, next question, you might have to think about this. Name the third station after Hua Long Pong. Sam Sing. So I haven't quite worked out how to do this whole couples thing that they do on YouTube channels. Okay, so what is the story here, Bangkok Pat? The story is 78 steps up to here. Thought it'd be nice to get out of Bangkok for a couple of days. So we're going to head to Ayutthaya for my first official video outside the city. But I'm not traveling alone. So we left Bangsu Junction on time. The train is actually heading for Chiang Mai. We've got an hour and 20 minutes journey and we're going to be rumbling through the suburbs of Bangkok through places like Bang Ken, Tung Song Hong, Don Muong of course, which is where we are now. That could be the train about to leave now. So it's a pretty uneventful journey in terms of scenery on the way to Ayutthaya. Better than an urban view that I've been used to getting trains in and out of Hua Long Pong. So I thought we'd liven up the journey and do a bit of a railway quiz and test May's knowledge of the railways. She's definitely heard me talking about trains and stuff often enough. So. Uh, Let's see if she can answer five simple questions.
We've got five questions here. Question one, name the third station after Hua Long Pong. Sam Sen. Sam Sen, oh, okay, good. Um, next question, you might have to think about this. Which red line goes to Talin Chan? Is it light red or dark red? Light red. Light red, okay, yes. good. Next question, this might be a bit difficult, but I've got a big map stuck up on the wall at home, so she must have looked at it at some point. Which future line will go to Siri Rat Hospital? Orange. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> All right, next question. What's the name, name of the station between Rangsit and Don Muang? Laksi. Oh no, Lak Hok. Lak Hok. Okay, last question. Which two MRT lines meet at Tao Pun? Purple and blue. Okay, five out of five. Is it correct? Yeah. Okay, Yay. brilliant. <laughs> Yay. So here's the room we booked, and it's, it's quite big. It's about 31 square meters. And how much was this room made? 2005. 2005, okay, let's see what kind of a view we have for 2005 in a UTR. Uh, main roads, another building, and then uh, temple in the distance. May, why have we got two beds? Oh, because king bed, the staff said is finished. They said the king beds are finished. Yeah. Right. Kitchen area with a stove. That's good. Flat screen TV. DVD player. Decent sized bath. Nice looking sink with all the toiletries included. I'll be taking some of those home with me. Shower as well, okay. And of course, there's a toilet as well, as expected. So I haven't quite worked out how to do this whole couples thing that they do on YouTube channels that are so popular nowadays. Are we supposed to be bouncing off each other with one-liners? I don't know. We're just gonna be natural. There's no acting here. <laughs> So last night we got to the hotel and it immediately started raining. So we couldn't really go anywhere. So only today that we've got time to look around the ancient city here. But I was thinking, we can't go to every temple in the whole of Ayutthaya. So I was thinking maybe pick six temples. Do you think that's enough? I think it should, should go four because I want to go floating market. Okay, so four, yeah, that's enough. And then I'll do the whole history thing at each of these temples. We'll ride around, have a look, see what the beauty is like, and then hit the floating market. And I think that should be enough for, for this video, really. Yes. Yeah. We have, like, not a lot of time. Yeah. Okay, right. So that's what we're going to do. So our first temple, this is Wat Mahatat in the historical park established in 1374. Now it's also known as the Temple of the Great Relic and the relic being a Buddha image that is encased within the roots of a tree. 
There's a couple of reasons as to how it got there. One is that the tree just grew around the piece of wall and encased the Buddha image. And the other reason is that maybe a thief put it there many years ago, buried it in the ground, and then the roots of the tree have grown around it. And over time, the ground has crumbled away. This temple was destroyed by the Burmese many years later in the 18th century. This is what Ratchaburana built in 1424. This was actually the royal temple during the Ayutthaya era. And in 1957, they extensively excavated the whole site and they came across old crowns, swords, gold Buddha statues, and lots of other relics. So we come all the way up these stairs in the hot sun to the top of this sheddy, well almost to the top, and it's nice and cool in here. What? Do you know what is this? Well, I believe these are the bones of the former head monk. Finger bones, fragments of what they found when they excavated uh -huh. the whole site in the 1950s. Hey. Yeah. So everyone don't forget to watch Bangkok Path video to know the explanation. Yeah, this is the only English explanation you're going to get. And we'll get a nice close-up on the bones as well. I bet there's probably a ghost story. No, we have no things like that. Okay, oh, alright. Katwaka. Oh. Okay, so what is the story here, Bangkok Path? 
The story is 78 steps up to here. It's very, <laughs> very tiring. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The story. Um, 1387, mm -hmm. King Ramasuan built this whole temple complex. And then the Burmese invaded in 1569. Mm -hmm. They took over and they named it Wat Pu Tong. And then 1584, mm -hmm. Ayutthaya gained independence once again. And then that's when this whole pagoda, Shedi, was added to make it look more Thai. Mm -hmm. And these sort of, this whole park and the grounds all around here is where they had the elephant fighting, you know, sitting on the back of elephants like oh, you see yeah. in the old movies. Yes, in the movie. uh, yeah, that went on all over here. So uh, definitely a lot of interesting history around here. And it's definitely worth coming out to come and see this place. So that was the floating market, not very exciting, but it is Friday and there's not many people about. It's probably more exciting on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday, I think. Yeah, the vendors will make a lot more money. And there is a show, you know, there are boats going around, so it is great for tourists. And while we were coming in, I saw the elephant riding. How much was that? Yes, uh, 1,200 baht. Yeah, I don't... I thought that was uh, not very nice for the elephants, but um, I don't know. It makes them money, I suppose. It's their livelihood. But I think we've gone around as many places as we can go in a day in a UTA, and we're not staying tonight, so uh, we're going to head for the railway station. So overall, do you think a UTA is a place you can come to in one day, or do you need a few days? Uh, if you want, I think if you want uh, like to go around the whole city, yeah, you need a few days. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a small <coughs> town. It's quite, you know, it's quite a big city, there's busy roads. But if you're into temples, then this is definitely the place to come and uh, have a look around. Mm -hmm. 